You know, look, I, I wish that were true. I really do wish that were true. Verifiably, it is not true. We don't know who are controlling these. This is the this is the issue. Hmm. That's a quick clip from our story earlier this week about UFOs and Pentagon claims the UFOs were drones, likely Chinese, spotted by a Navy ship off of California. That's what the Pentagon says. Stephen Greenstreet of the New York Post had some issues with the segment, tweeting, a yoga instructor and karate teacher claims without evidence that the Pentagon is wrong, that the Navy is wrong, and that the real documented evidence is part of a mass deception to cover up USOs. Credulous media like at Leland Vittert slurps it up madness. Mr. Greenstreet is with us now. Uh, did you watch the whole segment? Because I think we questioned him pretty carefully on this, didn't we? Uh, yeah. And, you know, I actually agree, like, with that statement, the one that you just played, where we still don't know about all of the specifics when it comes to this case. But look, I am I used to, I cover the UFO beat essentially at, at the New York Post. And I used to be on board with all of this. And it wasn't until recently in the last few months where I realized that something was off. And I, I created a, I, I dove deep and created a uh, documentary film, which essentially shows that the whole UFO story from the last four and a half years is wrong. And the media has been wrong about big details. Well, but, and, but if, we, if we're wrong and, would, and there is no UFOs, okay, and this is all just explained or it's a DARPA project or whatever it is, why is it that you've got sitting U.S. congressmen uh, who've been briefed and briefed by the Pentagon in classified situations saying something like this? I think it continues to be a cover-up. I, you know, I don't have the answers, but I'll tell you, they're not providing them. So we can agree the Pentagon's not being forthright, right, Steve? Look, I can't speak for the Pentagon, nor do I see any evidence that the Pentagon is not being forthright. This is, comes down to standards of evidence. And look, we heard yesterday uh, or the day before on your show, you know, Jeremy Corbell was talking about like the U.S. Air Force shooting at ufos and no evidence was provided of this well, he, he said he said he talked to people he said he talked to people on the navy ship and that's uh -huh. what that's what reporters do right uh-huh yeah okay but <laughs> look this comes down to standards of evidence you can't you can't like say the pentagon is lying to congress without evidence like hearsay is a good place to start and that's where i started to be honest yeah, with no. you I started were the stories. Right, right, but Steve, Steve, stories Steve, are Steve it's also members of Congress who think the Pentagon's lying. Wouldn't it be our job as reporters to 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 not take the Pentagon anywhere close to it face at face value? Yeah, I think the dichotomy, the breakdown here is that this story has its feet in two places. One in science fiction entertainment and the other foot is in science and military defense. And often that is blurred. And I and my what I've discovered is that the the science, fi science fiction entertainment is fun and entertaining, and people love to hear that. It's exciting. And the research, like when you get into the actual evidence and like the documents, which is where I've spent the last year of my life blowing a lid off this story and, and really boiling it, boiling it down to what you can prove. So what, really what, I, 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 I'll give you the last word. You got 30 seconds. What can you prove? I can prove, and I have proved, and you can watch on New York Post's YouTube site right now, that the UFO story that the media has been pushing for the last four and a half years is wrong. UFOs as an unidentified flying object is real. But according to the Navy and the Pentagon and actual documented evidence, we're seeing no, I, I've, I've, I've seen all the evidence, but I, I guess we don't leave any room for the idea that the Navy and the Pentagon might be lying to us? Why? About what, Leland? Well, Lying about, about that this is a DARPA project. About that they know a lot more than than we think they do. We've got you've got congressmen who've been briefed by the Pentagon saying that they're covering something up. Well, who briefed them? They said they were, he said he was briefed by the Director of National Intelligence. And said we can't. I can't tell you what I know. Okay. Well, the, the the Director of Naval Intelligence went before Congress and said these are drones. And the photographic well, really, evidence. I, I understand what he said. I just want to say, why do we believe him? Why do we believe who? I'm sorry. Why do we believe the head of naval intelligence who said conclusively these are drones? If they were UFOs and they didn't want to scare us, wouldn't they say that too?
again, again, it's not about believing someone or not. It's about verifying. And at this point, this is an ongoing story with ongoing mm -hmm. evidence that's coming out. We have to verify this. We can't go on national TV mm -hmm. and claim without evidence that they're lying. Well, I, I guess we can't claim it, but we can certainly certainly ask it. Hey, Steve, I appreciate you coming on. Feel free to tweet at us anytime and, and, and come back as you uncover more, all right? All righty. Yeah, thanks. A good conversation. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.